it was a tough start like it kind of took us time to get to grips with with them and look we had a few misses as well early on um but you know it was i was supposed to go in a pint up at half time it was massive but i think biggest bigger character was shown in the second half to hold on to it i suppose the backs just played on a real like they just i don't know how they held them out but they just did like they just played brilliant and I think that showed a lot of character as well. Do you think a tight match like that maybe kind of had a, not an easy but comfortable enough victories maybe in the group stage, do you think a tight match like that will hold to you for what, what, what would you presume will be a tight match against Galway again? Yeah I think we probably needed that and even after the match like you know we were all just like not relieved I don't know what the word is but just to get over a match like that and I suppose down in Cork and everything like we really just needed that and look the matches in the groups are tough in different ways um, but they're all I suppose we can learn from them all as well so look we, I suppose we have to take the performance against Cork and learn from it and I suppose take that work rate right and hunger into the All-Ireland now and uh, how much has Brian obviously his first year in charge what what differences has he brought to the table compared to maybe Anne the last couple of years um, that's a good question now I don't, I don't know I suppose it's just a different voice and I suppose bringing in like the likes of Tommy and Philly Larkin and Pat O'Neill there they've just all brought something I think you can see it in the way a lot in the way the backs are playing they have that toughness they probably didn't have like a few years ago but um I don't know, I suppose it's just different voice and look, there's probably a lot more players kind of coming in and out of maybe before we were reliant on the same kind of players like for the last four or five years. So it's just, I don't know, it's great to see like just new girls being blooded in and, yeah. and that. So you're the highest scorers in the championship as a team and you've obviously had a great season personally yourself. Do you think um, maybe the shackles have been taken off the fours this year compared to previous years? Um, yeah, I think I think when Brian came in, that's kind of one thing he wanted to do was kind of let us go out and express ourselves. And obviously we all have to do the work as well and work back and help out the backs. But I suppose, I don't know, um, if like it's great, I suppose, being given the freedom. But um, look, I suppose we were trying to do that under Anne as well. So... So, I don't know, we'll see the next day now, hopefully we'll, we'll come out with the highest scores. Yeah. So. And it's your fifth consecutive all Ireland final, obviously, losing the last three and winning in 2016. Do you think maybe the experience uh, will hold to you this year more so than the last couple of years? Um, I don't know, I think it might, I think actually the way we have maybe new girls there as well, that, like, there probably is a lot of pressure on the older girls and we probably put it on ourselves, like, as well, so... You know, to feed off the younger girls coming in might be a thing as well. But look, it's a new year, I suppose. Whatever else going on this year, just kind of have to take it at that and not really think about what happened in the past. The past is in the past now, and like we can learn from it and move on. But um, look, we're just looking forward to being back there. And like at the start of the year, if you told us we were going to be in in all Ireland in December, like we would have bit your hand off no matter when it is. So. Just delighted, I suppose, to be back. And obviously no crowd at the game on Saturday, unfortunately, due no. to the COVID regulations. How different will that be compared to previous years? Um, oh, I don't know. I suppose the Camogie doesn't have, doesn't be packed out. But um, look, it'll be different, I suppose. But when you're on the pitch, you're not really concerned too much about who's in the stand or how they are. I suppose everyone who supports Camogie will be at home watching. Like, so, um, look, it doesn't really affect us, I suppose, on the day. Yeah, and uh, there was news last night that maybe the cup will have to be left in Crow Park, uh, whoever wins it. If you do end up as the victors on Saturday, would that be a disappointment or is it something that you really care about? Uh, I don't know, I suppose we haven't really, we're not really thinking about that now. We're just trying to get over the match and look, just prepare for the, for the next week, prepare as best we can and look, whatever happens after the match happens. Like if you win, I think you'd be happy enough either way, but um, we'll just see what happens on the day.